while some people can head off down to Brighton Pier, while others might go to Somerset Levels. For my style of migration, well, you could say the location is a load of rubbish. Well, I've definitely been to more glamorous locations, but if there's one thing I do love, it's finding hidden gems in very unusual places. So I've popped down to my local recycling centre to film a natural event that takes place all over the country from autumn through to spring. For now, looking pretty much unspectacular, flocks of starlings pulse over the piles of household waste but with metal beasts endlessly looming over them, the starlings do not stay on the ground for long. In an instant, starlings take to the air. Grouping together, they form a swirling mass of beating wings. With a spectacular display of aerial expertise, the starlings move as one bring in a contrasting beauty to this gloomy surrounding. Passing heavy machinery, the murmurations are an impressive sight. And as the evening draws in and the engines cease, the Stalins compose one final magnificent display before heading off to roost. As the starlings leave, another sound echoes across the centre, the all too familiar sound of gulls. And it's because of the gulls another more spectacular bird is here. Alerted by this bird's presence, rooks take to the air and gulls are also, for now, keeping a safe distance. To get a little closer to the starling flocks, I was kindly allowed to join Nigel Count and the magnificent Flo on patrol on the waste fields. And Flo is proving pretty hard to keep up with. Flo, a hybrid peregrine Gersaker, is employed to keep the gulls at bay during the working day. As the night draws in, it is soon time to pack up. Well, that's all for now. Another successful day's filming and another wild short.